project for today is this uh, Townie uh, uh, Electra electric conversion. And uh, this has been sitting around not being used and my wife decided that she wanted to have an electric bike. So the Townie is the donor bike for this. Now I bought um, a Baofeng um, mid-motor kit. Um, I think came in packed really well. So that's the motor and uh, <clears throat> everything else came in nicely as well. Everything's well packed. All the tools look like they're there. So they have the crank puller and uh, such um, for removing the existing uh, bottom bracket. So looks good. Um, the expectation is that it's going to be about a two and a half hour switch over. Um, so we'll see. So I've removed the chain guard and uh, already loosened up the pedals. So these things will take off. You now you have to remember that they're opposite. Uh, so depending on which pedal you're working on, one will either be counterclockwise or clockwise. So with the pedals off, um, you can remove the center bolt holding on the, uh, the crank. It's uh, on the Electra, it's a uh, number eight uh, hex. So I've taken both of these out and um, nice enough that they provide a crank puller. So hopefully this should just slide right in there and you should be able to extract the crank. This is not easy to do with your hands holding a camera. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to pull this off. I'm not going to bother showing it. Alright, so the sprocket side is off. And yeah, the tool works not too badly. Um, it shouldn't take that long to get the second one off. Okay, so the cranks are off both sides and I've hit a roadblock. I don't have the tool to remove the bottom bracket. So uh, I will have to wait for my tool set to come in. Okay, so I've got the uh, bottom bracket uh, socket now. So that fits in there quite nicely. So I will uh, remove that and start the installation of the uh, motor. Okay, so the motor just slides in uh, to the bottom bracket uh, where the cartridge came out of. And there's another bracket it needs to go on the other side so there's you'll notice that there's two sides to it one's got dimples on it so you want the dimples to be inside right and then there's a threaded collar it's on top it's going to loosely just put it on We get two M6 screws. Take the bracket and attach it to the motor. So one thing that um, the instructions note is that uh, if you've got one of the cables going underneath as you see here, that you don't want to have that motor pinching it. So this has lots of space for it to flow under it, so that's not too bad. Um, obviously I could probably yank it up and actually squeeze it, which we don't want to do. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten all this up. Okay, so I've got the uh, bottom bracket all bolted in and the uh, cranks on, the pedals back on. Um, I'm trying to fit right now the uh, chain guard. Now, the problem with this is that the chain guard gets fastened down here which leaves no room for the screw on the other side because of the off end motor. Um, the other problem is, is the bracket is not quite aligned anyway, so uh, it's not very um, pretty. So I'm going to try and modify this So we straighten up the bracket, but also I'm going to take a notch out of the side bracket here that's holding the fender, or the um, chain guard that is, and then I'm going to make another bracket. So bat found motor has a bunch of, uh, I think they're M4, um, threaded uh, holes, and I'm going to try and attach a small bracket to hold the uh, chain guard, and once that's done, then it's just a matter of putting on the uh, the uh, speed detectors, the brake uh, switches, and the controller, um, or the display that is. And then, the battery pack. Right, so the chain guard is now fitted. And uh, if I may say so, it actually looks not too shabby considering that uh, it's not a proper bracket. There's a nice clearance all around. Probably twist that around just to get a little bit more flushed. There's enough uh, clearance between the chain, the chain and the uh, guard inside. And then for the bracket, I'd happen to have an older piece of um, uh, handlebar bracket that fit in there actually quite nicely. And I've just kind of drilled a hole and put in a, a pan head uh, screw from the other side so that it clears the motor. So that job is done. Uh, the next step is to start putting on the, uh, the brake switches and the speed sensor and uh, the display. And then I'll have to wait for my motor, or sorry, for the, um, the battery pack, which is a, a rear carrier style to show up and uh, this project will be done. So this is with all the um, wiring in place now. Um, I've tried to make it as neat as possible, the wiring harness coming up. Um, so that's the brake uh, sensors, uh, with the two new brake levers with the brake switches in them, here and here. Um, added the lights. lights uh, a bit of a problem in that um, the wiring is not very clear uh, for the connector at the bottom. Um, the wire with the white stripe is, I believe, um, I think it's the negative, um, but you, you can flip it back and forth and try it till you get it working. Um, I'm sure that there's actually a wiring diagram somewhere that has it uh, listed um, as to which way it goes. Um, display so it, it's a, a single harness that comes up from the the motor that you plug into so that cleans it up so only that wire which gathers up the uh, um, brake switch sensors and the display and the throttle and that um, is accompanied by the um, light um, and it's, it's wiring harness. <clears throat> so you see the speed uh, sensor. So all I'm waiting on right now is the battery. And when the battery shows up, it's a rear mount, so I'll be installing it on the back. And uh, this should be good to go for a ride. <laughs>